So if you have a new Archon Type B, you may need either a plastic punch or a wooden cuticle pusher. The reason why I use these two would be to push this pin in. And the reason why it would be either wood or plastic is just so it doesn't mar up your Type B. Again, that's only if you have a stubborn pin. And I'll show you when we get to that part. First thing we're going to do is make sure we're safe. And how we do that is by pushing this button here. It releases the magazine, just like that. Set this aside. Next, we're still not safe. We have to check the chamber to make sure that there's no ammo in there. And how we do that is by turning over and gripping the Type B like this, pushing forward with this hand while with this hand, grabbing the slide from here or here and pulling it this way. And as you can see, there's no ammo. So we are now safe. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part right here and we're gonna put that right over here on our hand like this. And then we're gonna take these three fingers and wrap them over like that. And we're gonna pull the slide to the rear just slightly. Watch the front, just like that. And then we're gonna push in the pin. So you push it in. Again, this Archon is pretty new. So I need to push this in with the plastic punch. Now I'm going to flip this over and you can see that the pin is sticking out now. You're going to grab the pin and you're going to pull it out as far as it can go. It's captured. It won't come out. Now we can release the pressure with our fingers. We're going to take this hand and we're going to grab onto the slide and the frame like this. And we're going to point it in a safe direction and then pull the trigger. Now what we're going to do is pull the slide off, set this down, flip this over. And then we're going to remove this recoil spring. And how we do that is by grabbing the recoil spring from here and we're going to pull upward. Now with this finger right here, I'm going to compress the spring this way. So this way it makes it easier for this piece right here, the silver round piece to clear this piece. The other thing I want to point out is that this recoil spring is under spring tension. So you want to make sure you have a good hold on the recoil spring as you're removing it because you don't want it to fly out of your hands. So here we go. So grabbing onto the recoil spring from here, getting ready, pulling it up. You can see there's enough room for this finger to start compressing. And then there you go. It comes right on out. And as you could see, it was under spring tension and it kind of wanted to fly out, but I held onto it. We're going to put this part down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this piece right here. All you have to do is grab it from here and pull straight up just like that. Set that aside. Last thing we have to do is remove the barrel. And how I do that is by pushing up on the barrel block and pushing the barrel this way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our finger here. We're going to pull this upward like that. And then we're going to pull it outward on an angle just like that. Set that down. Congratulations, you have successfully field stripped your Type B. Now let's put everything back together. So we're going to pick up our slide and the barrel. There's two parts of the barrel. There's the top part right here, and then there's the bottom part. Okay, the bottom part is flat and it has these two pieces right here. This little area is kind of around it right there. That is going to be facing upward as we insert it into the slide like this. So this part of the barrel goes into this hole right here, but from the inside, just like that, we're going to drop in the barrel like that. I'm going to push this all the way to the right like that. That's how it's going to look. Okay. Next, we're going to take this piece and this piece can only be installed one way. So if you have it backwards like this, then it won't go in. So it won't go in. It just doesn't fit. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that this flat part right here is facing the front of the slide, while the round part here is facing the rear of the slide. Then you're going to take this part and this part, and you're going to insert it into here and here. So it's going to look like this. See the flat parts facing the front? I'm going to insert it just like this, like that. Goes in like that and just drops in. You push down to make sure it's all the way in. Now we can insert our recoil spring. If this spring came off your guiding rod, all you have to do is just slide it back on. It doesn't matter which side goes on first. Then you're going to take this part right here. You're going to insert it into this area right here. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to try to get this round part right here locked behind this flat piece right here. That's the goal. So I'll show you how it looks. So taking this part of the spring, putting it into this hole. We're going to compress the spring this way. Once this piece gets past this flat part, we're going to push downward. 
I'll show you how it looks. So we're compressing the spring past the flat part and we push it downward. Looking at it from this view, you want to make sure that the guiding rod is straight. You don't want this part to be too much to the left or too much to the right. So it should look like this. Next, we're going to take this opening right here and this opening right here, and we're going to slide that onto this rail and this rail. And it's going to look something like this. Just like that, slide it on. At this point, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put this part into this part of your hand while taking these three fingers and wrapping them over the top. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the slide back slightly like this. Once you have the slide pulled back like this, you're going to make sure that the barrel is pushed all the way in. But on this side, we're going to push this pin inward. Okay. And I'm going to show you. Boom, push it in. You can see now the pin is showing on this side. You can release the pressure with your fingers. And now we can do a function test. How I do a function test is I hold the type B like this. I flip it over. I push forward with this hand while with this hand, I grab the slide from here or here and I pull it this way three times. Next, I point the type B in a safe direction and I pull and hold the trigger. While still holding the trigger, I pull the slide to the rear real quick like that and then I let the trigger go and you hear that reset. Everything is functioning fine. We should be good to go. The last thing I do is insert the magazine. The flat side right here faces the rear of the type B and the top part right here gets inserted into this hole just like this and you push up until you hear the click. There you go. Congratulations, you have successfully field tripped your Archon Type B and reassembled it. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you're in the market for CCW insurance, check out Right to Bear. Link is in the description below. Use coupon code UBR10 to get 10% off your entire order. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.